speaking of, it's Python on Hardware time. Okay, so this week, the newsletter is gigantic. So uh, Hug Report, that's what we do here at Adafruit to Anne and all the contributors to the newsletter. It's a monster newsletter. So we go over our 300 boards on CircuitPython org slash downloads. Um, I'll talk about a couple other things. Uh, last week we mentioned we were able to help MicroPython hit their um, first tiered goal that they wanted to get to. Yes. Which is and four um, percent more, so that they can they're yeah. getting towards their second goal. Yeah, I think altogether it, it boosted it up uh, over ten percent, and I think thirty people. Um, we'll talk about CircuitPython 7.3.0 in a little bit in, in uh, the RP2040 stuff with USB Teeny. Um, we're now a topic on GitHub. You could check that out. This is um, a way for folks to tag things with CircuitPython um, throughout the site on GitHub and more. Um, there's new Python implementations for um, this neat peak of zero Python thing. Mm. Check that out. And all the regular kind of unending projects news videos um the project of the week i thought this was kind of cool this was multiple displays i think uh Tadapot did this um and you can uh show two displays using like johnny Python, five action there. which is yeah. uh you know johnny five is alive um and then we have uh, a really neat like portable circuit python oh. dev yeah these are the tiniest ways to program with circuit python on so the go tiny. So what I thought we would do is go to uh, some of the highlights this week. So first up, if you haven't already, I put this in the press section on adafruit.com. So adafruit.com slash press. You can check out Tom's Hardware, or Anne did a cool video, the PyCast, over on Tom's Hardware. And then we're up to the final version of CircuitPython uh, 7. Release before eight. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So what's the latest and greatest, Lady? Anna? Well, a lot of it's just been bug fixes. Um, if you, you know, if we're still finding people who are like, "Hey, there's a regression. Uh, please fix it," and we're fixing them. Um, Seven three added a bunch of stuff. Floppy support, PIO support, merged uh, Python one point one eight. Um, you know, a lot of boards, a lot of ESP boards were added. Um, a lot of graphics stuff was added. Uh, you know, we added F strings uh, to all builds that was, came in recently. Um, and uh, also Dan spent a bunch of time on improving NeoPixel timing. So uh, NeoPixel should, you know, work much better uh, no matter what weirdo <laughs> NeoPixel compatible chips you're using. Um, and 7.3.0, we're probably going to do 7.3.1, but we're probably not going to do another uh, mid-level release until 8, um, because I think Python 1.19, which just got released, um, made an update to the um, format for MPY files, uh, which we, we may merge in, in which case um, we would bump up to a, a major version, so that would be 8. Um, we're going to be doing more work on Wi-Fi workflow, uh, maybe um, you know, ESP32 S3 is going to get more development. Um, we got a lot of plans for 8, so we're, we're thinking about what the art's going to be um, we'll release it so we know the theme of eight. Yeah, and someone said the newsletter uh, might not be mobile responsive. So I'm gonna ask the team. It should be, but if not, maybe there's some tweaks that we can do so it's easier to read on a phone. Thanks for letting yeah. us know about that. Um, and then next up, uh, this was in the newsletter, but I thought this would be good for Lady Ada to talk about. Mm. So the RP2040 can have additional USB ports for free. Um, here's a little video, but uh, what, yeah. does, what does this mean for folks who aren't familiar with this? Well, this is, I think, TAC doing a demo. Um, TAC's been working really hard on integrating uh, this cool uh, project uh, from a group of Japanese makers, I think, to add USB host support using PIO to, to manage the uh, differential, um, the D plus D minus lines. And um, we've been, you know, USB host support's been kind of coming into teeny USB. Um, but one of the things that was difficult for me to get um, USB host going is I didn't like it when USB host was only also only on the same as the USB client because usually that's how you upload code or debug it. So it's like if you're, you only have one USB port, it can be client or host, that makes it tough to do host projects. So what's really nice about um, this teeny USB version for RP2040 is that you can use any two pins. Um, which means that you can still run, say, CircuitPython or Arduino. You can have the output, you can upload code, and then you have two separate pins that are used for USB host. Okay. So that's a demo showing, uh, you know, HID demo, and you can see the output on the REPL. And all of these news stories more can be delivered every single week to you. Check out adafruitdaily.com. It's a completely separate site that we have. 
because we don't want it tied to your store account because we don't want you to ever get an email and think that you didn't sign up for something or whatever. So it's Hate a completely that. separate site. And that is our Python on hardware news for this week. It's our Python promise. Yeah. All right.